Amy and I met in college pursuing bachelor degrees of visual communications. I had a major in fine art and she had a major in graphic design. Amy worked at a uh, portrait studio for several years before we decided it was time to go out on our own. We opened the studio in 2008 when we purchased the building and started renovations. With a long history of portrait photography on Railroad Avenue going all the way back to the beginning of the last century, we're honored to continue a tradition that has been here for some time. We purchased the building in 2008 and began renovation. During that time, we discovered that Dean Palmer, a well-known local photographer, had started out in this space in 1948 and then moved next door in 1960, where he continued his portrait studio until 1990 when he sold to Norm Tenefoss, who continued on with ET photography. Eaton Tenefoss was there up until the fall before we moved in, so we are happy to continue that tradition. Amy and I were very lucky to have attended college and receive our training during the digital transition. So we learned traditional darkroom techniques, traditional film techniques, and we're able to adapt those into the digital world and create images that are not only modern, but timeless. Cold mount utilizes a self-adhesive backer board and it is ran through rollers that are not heated and just uses a pressure sensitive adhesive to adhere the image to the substrate. The knees to a beautiful mat. we still sell the traditional portrait. So most everything that we deliver to our clients is printed, custom framed, and ready for them to hang on the wall, which is kind of a traditional uh, idea that is coming back around now. The first step to creating the frame is to cut and precisely fit the moldings to the image. We use a very sharp knife to cut off very small increments of the molding to create the perfect miter joints. That makes your corners really beautiful. After applying some glue to the miter, it's then inserted into the V-nailer, which shoots a small V-shaped nail up from the bottom, which adheres the two corners together. After the corners are joined, we move on to the finishing touches that complete the frame itself. The next step is to cut the glass and fit it to the frame. The conservation grade glass it has a coating on it that blocks 99% of the UV light. And one side of the glass is coated and one is not. Once that's completed and the glass has been cleaned, the photo package, which includes the photo, the mount, the mat, and the backing board, are inserted into the frame. Using a point driver, the package is adhered to the frame. Next, the back of the frame is completed with a protective paper dust cover. And then it's on to the hanging hardware. Utilizing small D-rings and some picture hanging wire, the piece is almost ready to hang on the wall. Adding a couple more finishing touches, and the master portrait has been completed.